Testaments of the Twelve Patriarchs. The Testament of Isa, Car, the fifth son of Jacob and Leah. The copy of the words of Issachar. For he called his sons and said to them, Hearken, my children, to Issachar your father. Give ear to the words of him who is beloved of the Lord. I was born the fifth son of Jacob by way of hire for the mandrakes. For Reuben, my brother, brought in mandrakes from the field and Rachel met him and took them. <clears throat> and Reuben wept and at his voice, Leah, my mother, came forth. Now these mandrix were sweet smelling apples, which were produced in the land of Hovan, below a ravine of water. And Rachel said, I will not give them to you but they shall be to me instead of children. For the Lord has despised me, and I have not borne children to Jacob. <clears throat> now there were two apples, and Leah said to Rachel, Let it suffice you that you have taken my husband. Will you take these also? And Rachel said to her, You shall have Jacob this night for the mandrakes of your son. And Leah said to her, Jacob is mine, for I am the wife of his youth. But Rachel said, Boast not, and vaunt not yourself, for he espoused me before you, and for my sake he served our father fourteen years. had not craft increased on the earth and the wickedness of men prospered you would not now see the face of Jacob for you are not his wife but in craft you were taken to him instead of me My father deceived me and removed me on that night. And my father did not allow Jacob to see me. For had I been there, this had not happened to him. Nevertheless, for the mandrakes, I am hiring Jacob to you for one night. And Jacob knew Leah, and she conceived and bare me. And on account of the hire, I was called Issachar. Then appeared Jacob an angel of the Lord saying two children 
Shah Rachel Bear. And as much as she has refused company with her husband and has chosen continency. And had not Leah, my mother, paid two apples for the sake of his company, she would have borne eight sons. For this reason, she bears six, and Rachel bears the two. For on account of the mandrakes, the Lord visited her. For he knew that for the sake of children, she wished to company with Jacob and not for lust of pleasure. For on the morrow also, she again gave up Jacob. Because of the mandrakes, therefore, the Lord hearkened to Rachel. For though she desired them, she eat them not, but offered them in the house of the Lord, presenting them to the priests of the Most High, who was at that time. When therefore I grew up, my children, I walked in uprightness of heart. And I became a husbandman for my father and my brethren. And I brought in fruits from the field according to their season. And my father blessed me, for he saw that I walked in rectitude before him. I was not a busybody in my doings, nor was I envious and malicious against my neighbor. I never slandered anyone, nor did I censure the life of any man, walking as I did in singleness of I. Therefore, when I was 35 years old, I took to myself a wife. For my labor wore away my strength. And I never thought upon pleasure with women But owing to my toil, sleep overcame me. And my father always rejoiced in my rectitude. Because I offered through the priest to the Lord all first fruits. Then to my father also. And the Lord increased ten thousand fold his benefits in my hands. And also Jacob my father knew that God aided my singleness. For on all the poor and oppressed I bestowed the good things of the earth in the singleness of my heart. And now, hearken to me, my children, and walk in singleness of your heart. For I have seen in it all that is well-pleasing to the Lord. The single-minded man does not covet gold. He 
overreacts, not his neighbor. He does not long after many full dainties. He does not delight in varied apparel. He does not desire to live a long life. But he only waits for the will of the Most High. And the spirits of deceit have no power against him. For he looks not on the beauty of women, lest he should pollute his mind with corruption. There is no envy in his thoughts. No malicious person makes his soul to pine away. He does not worry with insatiable desire in his mind. For he walks in singleness of soul. He beholds all things in uprightness of heart. shunning eyes made evil through the error of the world lest he should see the perversion of any of the commandments of the Lord keep therefore my children the law of God and get singleness and walk in guilelessness, not playing the busy body with the business of your neighbor, but love the Lord and love your neighbor. Have compassion on the poor and have compassion on the weak. Bow down your back unto husbandry and toil in labors in all manner of husbandry, offering gifts to the Lord with thanksgiving. For with the first fruits of the earth will the Lord bless you, even as he blessed all the saints from Abel even until now. For no other portion is given to you than of the fatness of the earth, whose fruits are raised by toil. For our father Jacob blessed me with blessings of the earth and of first fruits. And Levi and Judah were glorified by the Lord even among the sons of Jacob. For the Lord gave them an inheritance and to Levi, the Lord gave the priesthood. And to Judah, the Lord gave the kingdom. And do you therefore obey them and walk in the singleness of your father? For unto God, has it been given to destroy the troops that are coming upon Yasharal? Know ye therefore, my children, that in the last times your sons will forsake singleness. 
and will cleave unto insatiable desire. In leaving guilelessness, your sons will draw near to malice. And forsaking the commandments of the Lord, your sons will cleave unto Belial. In leaving husbandry, your sons will follow after their own wicked devices. And they shall be dispersed among the Gentiles. And shall serve their enemies. And do you therefore give this command to your children. That if they sin, they may be more quickly returned to the Lord. For the Lord is merciful and will deliver them, even to bring them back into the land. Behold, therefore, as you see, I am a hundred and twenty six years old, and I am not conscious of committing any sin. Except my wife, I have not known any other women. I never committed fornication by the uplifting of my eyes. I do not drink wine to be led astray thereby. I do not covet any desirable thing that was my neighbor's. Guile arose not in my heart. A lie passed not through my lips. If any man were in distress, I joined my sighs with his. And I shared my bread with the poor. I wrought godliness all my days. I kept truth. I loved the Lord with all my strength. Likewise, I love also every man with all my heart. So do you also these things, my children, and every spirit of Belial shall flee from you. And no deed of wicked men shall rule over you. And every wild beast shall you subdue. Since you have with you the God of heaven and earth. Walk with men in singleness of heart. Having said these things, Issachar commanded his sons that they should carry him up to Hebron 
and bury him there in the cave with his fathers. He stretched out of his feet and died. The fifth son of Jacob, Issachar, died at a good old age with every limb sound and with strength unabated. He slept the eternal sleep. Praises to the Most High Yahuwah, the Great I Am, loving kindness, the Holy Great One, the power of the Yahudims. Ya Shalom, family.